guys, my name is Maria Park and this is Approach the Nerd. And in this episode, we are going to review the Charmed Season 2 trailer that the CW just released earlier this week. Um, it looks a little short, so I'm a little concerned and I haven't watched it yet, but let's check it out and see what it's about. To getting back to normal. Fresh start. To being in charge. <laughs> What's happening? I swear everyone breaks into their house. you heard there's a war going on we're coming for you charmed new episodes friday october 11th stream free next day only on the cw app so that was like 30 seconds so this is not okay it says promo so yeah promo it's definitely not a trailer which is very confusing because today is the second of october this premieres on the 11th and they don't have a full-length trailer yet that is very strange I mean, the CW has full-length trailers for series that haven't even premiered yet. Um, and they're in their sophomore series. This is their sophomore year. So, like, that's very strange. I don't know. It, just, it could be me. I just think it's strange that they haven't released a fuller trailer. I mean, next Friday is the premiere. Maybe they're gonna. Maybe that's what's going to happen. They'll probably give us one over the weekend or maybe a bigger one at the beginning of next week, which is still kind of odd that they waited this long. But, Or maybe they're still filming. Who knows? Um, some things that I noticed from the little 30 seconds. Um, I think Macy and Mel are definitely closer. I've always worried about that relationship because it reminded me so much of the tension between like Prue and Phoebe in the first season and of course between Piper and Paige um, starting with her first season. Um, I didn't know if those two actresses, like, to me, they all have chemistry. I look at Charmed as a, a separate show. I do not compare it to the original, except when things parallel or cross. Um, but to me, it seemed like the two actresses kind of are closer now, which is interesting because it was so natural between Macy and Maggie, but not between Macy and Mel, and I never understood why. Um, and then we found out that uh, Maggie and Macy are actually full sisters, and that Mel is actually the half-sister. So that was a little bit of a twist, but yeah. Um, so it's like they take things that happen in the original Charm and then they do it in reverse. Um, but another thing um, that, that actually isn't mentioned in the teaser or promo that I read online is that Harry is going to be dealing with his repressed feelings for Macy, which kind of is not really a shock, because if you look at the season finale, they did have a conversation at the end where she asked if they could discuss the you know thoughts he had about her when she was able to read his mind you know when she took on the sources powers and he's like yeah let's just never talk about that so it's there and considering um even though she's the prude character she is the oldest and and if you look at the original series piper becomes the oldest after prude dies and if they're trying to make it different they would switch the, sh you know, the sisters up a little bit so it makes sense that macy would be the one that eventually may marry harry um, they're white lighter. So yeah, it's, it's interesting. Um, but it's just, he's going to be dealing with a lot of stuff this season and we're going to see a lot more about Harry. So it looks like this season from what I've read is going to be very Harry centric. So if you're a Harry fan, like I am, you're going to love this season. Um, I'm also wondering, like we aren't seeing anything from the season one characters. Um, we know that Parker left to work itself out, <laughs> so he's the coal of the of the Charmed, and technically, you know, we, we know what happened to Cole in the original series, so he may be back, he may not, um, it may get worked out, it may not. Um, if they're trying to do their own thing, and they do have new showrunners now, we may not see Parker. Um, I don't know if Nico is going to be back, which breaks my heart because I love Nico, but Nico's actress signed on to play a character in another series. So there's a good chance we don't see her anymore either. Now, to be fair, um, the actress whose name's escaping me right now from Legends of Tomorrow actually is uh, playing a different character, a doctor, on another medical series. Um, so she's doing double duty. So maybe Nico can do both and maybe they're leaving the door open because since Nico's technically the Andy Trudeau, um, counterpart for this Charmed, she didn't die like Andy. So the door is still open for her to come back in. So we may see her later on, but I don't know if we're going to see her this season. And I don't know what's going to happen with Jada. Jada's on the run. I mean, Fiona's dead. The source has been defeated. So that kind of opens the door for her to come back in. I have no idea. We have no idea what's happening with any of these characters from season one. So, yeah, that's that's a thing. Um, and also, I love the fact that 
the witches or the girl sisters being the new elders basically are in charge is going to come into play because they have no idea what they're doing. It's like being promoted to management and never having management training. So they're having to deal with not just the witches world, but also the magical realm as a whole as well as battle the demon realm. <laughs> and I, I read that it's going to be on a global level and not just on their hometown. So like the evil is not going to come just to their house <laughs> or to them. They're going to have to travel to the evil. So that's something I'm not used to because that didn't happen in the original Charmed. So I am kind of uh, looking forward to seeing where that goes. The film style is very, like the cinematography has gotten so much better. I have a film degree, so I'm like geeking out at how dark and brooding this looks. So I, I do like what they're doing with that. They're making it a lot darker, which is what they tend to do in reboots, like Sabrina the Teenage Witch. If you watch any of the seasons on Netflix, it is incredibly different and very, very dark than what we know of the campy, lighthearted Sabrina. So that's what they're doing, it looks like, with Charmed. And Honestly, I'm there for it. So I think it's going to be really cool. But um, yeah, it's just what's bothering me the most right now is there's not enough information. Like we're not getting a full trailer and it's so close to the premiere. So it bothers me. But I don't know. That could just be me. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and let me know. And if you'd like to sign up for jury duty, hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to know who's next on the nerd ballot, hit the notification bell. Until next time, I hope to see you approach the nerd. Bye guys. And if you have time, make sure to check out some of our other videos.